Hi everyone and thanks for watching my online lesson on rotations. So rotating a shape is one of the four transformations that you need to know at both foundation and higher tier and this video is going to cover rotating a shape around a centre. So this question says rotate the shaded shape 90 degrees clockwise about the point zero. Now the point zero is the origin and they've labelled it there so it's this point. So the information they've given me is they want a 90 degrees clockwise turn and they want it about this point. So you're going to need tracing paper for this. So the first thing you should do is place your tracing paper not only over the shape but it also needs to cover the centre as well. So it needs to go over here. Once you've placed your tracing paper on, you need to mark on the centre. So put across where the centre is. You also need to trace around your shape like that. And another thing I also do is I will draw an arrow pointing upwards on my tracing paper so that I can see more clearly when I've rotated 90 degrees clockwise. So 90 degrees clockwise then, well clockwise is this direction, that's clockwise. Anticlockwise would be going the opposite way, so that would be anticlockwise. And 90 degrees means that my arrow is currently pointing upwards. I need to turn it until it points out to the side like that. There we are, so I've made my turn. You need to make sure when you turn it that you place your pencil on the centre when you turn your tracing paper. So it stays still at the centre. By placing a cross on your centre, on your tracing paper, if you do accidentally move your tracing paper a little bit, it doesn't matter, it's easy to realign it with the centre. Now I've got this, I can see where the shape needs to end up. So what I have to do is I have to either remember where this is and then move my tracing paper and redraw it, or write down some of the coordinates of the vertices and then plot the coordinates and redraw it. But I can remember where this is. So I've removed my tracing paper and redrawn the shape. Let's look at another example. So this time I have a triangle and they want me to rotate it 180 degrees about the point minus 1, 1. Now in this example, they've plotted that coordinate on for me with this cross here. That's minus 1, 1. So I'm going to go through the same process again. I'm going to cover it with tracing paper. So now I'm going to trace around my triangle, I'm going to mark on where my centre is and I'm going to draw that arrow pointing upwards again so I can remember where my starting position is. There we go. Now this time it's 180 degrees and they've not told me whether or not to go clockwise or anticlockwise. And the reason for that is when it's a 180 degree turn it actually doesn't matter which way you go because my arrow is currently pointing upwards. I need to rotate it until my arrow is pointing downwards. That will be 180 degrees. It doesn't matter if I go clockwise or anticlockwise. So again, make sure you place your pencil on the centre and you turn your tracing paper till your arrow is pointing downwards. So that's what that looks like. You can see where the triangle ends up here. So again, I can either write down some of the coordinates to write, remind me where it ends up or I can just remember where it is and remove my tracing paper and redraw the triangle. So that's what I've done here. That's my triangle redrawn in the correct position. Thank you for watching.